Yo, Cyber Heroes, I hope you're ready for this because I'm about to answer the million dollar question that is burning in your mind that you probably was on YouTube looking for right now anyway. And that's why can I not get off the help desk? I am about to give you the exact reason why. And it's not what you think it is. So before you try to click off this video, yes, you, I see you go, I don't, don't you do it. Tune in, give me seven minutes and I'm about to blow your mind. Because if you're new to this channel, I'm Boyd Clue, an internationally recognized cybersecurity expert, and I help IT professionals upgrade their jobs to a six-figure tech career. Now that that's over with, let me tell you what the problem is. But I can't just tell you directly, I gotta show you. So you know what that means, right? Story time. You gotta understand that I only talk about my experience and what I've done and what's worked for me and definitely what not has worked for me. So I started on the help desk after transitioning from accounts receivable into tech, working on the help desk at a managed service provider company, MSP. And this company provided outsourced IT services for companies around the DFW area. So I was able to get a ton of experience in a very relative amount of time. I'm talking about in less than a year, guys, I was able to get like seven years worth of experience. It was next level. Let me know in the comments if you have ever heard of an MSP or worked for an MSP company. It's actually a re really good opportunity. But here's what I did. When I started working for this company, I went there, number one, with intentionality. I didn't go work at this company so that I could remove viruses so that I could fix computers. That is what I call IT guy thinking. And if you look, the name of this podcast is called Don't Be an IT Guy. And the reason is there's nothing wrong with technology, but IT guys don't make money because they don't understand what truly drives money and that's value so my intention when I worked at the MSP company was to understand number one the business the business of the MSP not just the technology so I could fix things number two what type of problems I was solving for our clients and number three how could I improve my service offerings to better develop solutions to solve those problems. So ultimately, this is what you have to understand. If you follow me for any period of time, my motto was this, manage and treat your career like a business because it is. You, my friend, watching this video, yes, you are a business. And the services that you offer to your company that you work for makes you a service provider. So I want you to take the oath right now, put your hands up and say, hey, board, you know what? I've been wrong before, but I understand now. I am a business and I'm going to start acting like it. So here's what you got to understand. Businesses have different phases, right? Most people go into the help desk to initiate their career. But what happens is through mindset, complacency and lack of opportunities, their career ends there as well. So I'm talking about being on the help desk for 10 to 15 years, barely making over $60,000 a year. And if that's you, I'm not after you. I'm just saying there is much better, way better, and you're undervalued and underpaid, but that's the nature of the help desk. But I'm going to teach you real quick how you could flip that to create value so that you can actually make more money and get off of the help desk to escape it. So businesses have phases, right? Before you would start any company, what you would do is R&D and that is research and development. This is going to be the backbone to give you the insight for what you need to do to be able to serve at the highest level and command a hefty paycheck from the clients that you are serving. So working in the help desk should actually be the launch of your career. That should actually be the R&D period. But for some people, they don't see it that way. So they don't take advantage of the opportunities. Instead of going through the same routine of fixing the same problems every single day, you got to get to the point where you take ownership of your skills, talent and development and you start trying to identify the root cause of these problems and seeing how you could bring a different solution that eliminates the problem entirely. And then number two, when a business is launching, they have an idea of where they want to go. Most guys that are on the help desk have no idea. They just say, hey, boy, I want to level up my career. What does that mean? Do you want to be help desk level two now? <laughs> Do you want to move to programming, coding, cybersecurity? Like what does level up mean? If you aren't clear with a path, then how can you ask for somebody for directions? It doesn't work. 
it doesn't work. So with my career progression working at the MSP, I was very clear in what I was doing from the very jump. I was focused on understanding the business and technology was just an amplifier for me to add value to the business. What people don't understand is companies are not going to pay you for your college degree, or your certification, because that does not add value to the company. It may add value to you, you feel good about yourself, but it doesn't add value to the company. Ultimately, you need to leverage your skill set to solve big problems for that business. And most people that are on the help desk don't do that. They show up and they do the same thing every day, fix, fix, fix. And I know what some of you are gonna say in the comments, well, boy, I don't have an opportunity to do anything else. Why are you waiting for someone to give you an opportunity? Go and create it. Everything that I have gotten in my life was taken. I didn't wait for anybody to create opportunities for me. When you know where you wanna go, you can sit around and wait for an Uber or you can get up and start walking. So what are you gonna do? What are you going to do? If they won't give you an opportunity where you are, then it's time to go somewhere else. But you gotta take full accountability for your skill set and you have to have a skill set being able to answer phones remote into somebody's computer and click a couple buttons or reboot their machine is not a skill set guys it's something that pretty much anybody can do therefore the compensation for it is going to be very low but when you can articulate the problems that someone is having and advise them on what they can do to prevent those in the future look at data and see trends you become a business technology professional that gets the bag, not just another IT guy. So guys, I'm telling you all this because I, at some points, dealt with some of those same challenges and mindset things in my career, and it almost kept me stuck. In fact, I have something that will help you. So me and Forbes got together and we actually wrote this book, Through the Firewall, The Alchemy of Turning Crisis into Opportunities. This book is about my life and my story, how I was born dead, failed out of college, heck, had a child in college, college and high school. Man, I had a whole bunch of kids, yo. My daughter passed away when I was in college and it just took me to this really dark place. But through this, I was able to take hold of my career, my skill set, teach myself the tech skills and leverage my communication skills to be able to build a very successful career. And inside of this book, I put step-by-step -step action strategies in each chapter, not just to help you in your tech career, but in your personal life. Because truth be told, most of you that have not advanced the career to where you want it is because you mentally don't really want it. You haven't found your why. When you are sold out and convinced of why you want to achieve something and why you need to achieve it, you will stop at nothing to achieve it. I got four kids. It's a lot of mouths to feed, man. A wife and four kids and a dog too, and a dog too. And so I know, when my family needs something, there's nothing that I'm gonna do to help them, right? I was the same way in my career. I didn't wait for people to give me things. I put in the time, like guys, this takes work to study, 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 to do the training, and then to develop my craft, creating opportunities for myself, not waiting for people to give me anything. The big opportunities, the big rewards, the paychecks come from people that seize the moment, man, carpe diem, something like that. Take off that perspective of being an employee, manage your career like a business, you won't get stuck on the, on the help desk. And if you've been there for 15 years, it's not too late to start. It's not too late to start. Let me know in the comments, what is your biggest takeaway? If you've been stuck on the help desk, how long you been there? I might be able to help you get off. I mean, you could just go over to boydclues.com forward slash GRC and apply to join Baxter Clues Trading Academy where I just help people just like you upgrade their jobs to six figure tech careers every single day. I love it. So guys, that's it. I will see you on the next video. Y'all have a good one and peace.